Hello there once again, it's the Fabra Puna hunting another Lagombi with the, at the status wave. Next weapon class is the Gun Lance and the weapon of choice is the Quirky Felioska. I like to call it Quirky or Gimmicky. It's a nice looking Gun Lance. Weird, but still funny. I've gemmed in artillery since I have a talisman that allows it and the weapon comes with two slots and I can combine it with the status skill to boost the status part of this weapon so the banana the banana armor is nice for this status weapons if you do ever get a talisman plus five with status plus five you need either combine it with this arm set to boost it to another level of status let's see a uh, slider no no why are they duplicates and there's nothing else worth worthwhile here so uh, that won't be useful uh, I guess this maybe a bit groomer yeah, for the ice blight, yeah, let's go for the groom even if it's a repeat. I wonder if there's a double roll for those skills, like if one misses, the other one grants it. So it's a greater chance of getting it. Who knows? And we're off. By the way, the hot drinks that gave Chacha in the last quest turned out to be into it turned Chacha turned them into mega pickaxes. So you know, if you only have any surplus of some items that you don't think you're gonna use them on much of them. You can just give them to Chacha. And it will change them to something else that might be more useful. So I'm going to go for the paralysis first. Won't be doing any shelling until we get it off. And there we go. Blast it off there. That one got missed. It's too close. The quick see thing is interesting. An interesting skill for some weapons. Switch axe, gun lance, and I think the heavy bow gun are the ones that get the most benefit from it, since they're really slow seething weapons. I'm not sure if that one here. That was not the move I wanted to do, but at least it hit. And that was that was a bad new time attack.
get sharpened even though this one doesn't have green sharpness. Don't seem to bounce with this particular weapon. I'm not sure because it doesn't reach the hitboxes that would usually cause a bounce. Or oh, I've just been lucky. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Someone got the bear. Bear. Which one? Not that one. Ah. Oh. This one. And he's gonna get away. Oh, got him! That's for the last time they got away from something precious. Okay, let's get the shinies around here. Couple of them. I'm guessing this image is pretty much payback for when they steal from you. You can steal from them. Nice finish! Oh, just over the five minute mark. Well, just about nearly half a minute. It's five minutes, twenty seven seconds of quest. Turns out this gun lance, this particular one, is very powerful. I'm guessing versus the Lagombis it's easy to paralyze. Seems to be somewhat vulnerable to paralysis. But would excel, even though it has green, uh, yellow sharpness only. The other possibility is because it's combined with the uh, Benabra armor set, boosting its paralysis skill. Plus artillery skill. So a nice combination of skills for this weapon. And rewards. Ooh, nice amount of rewards. Pelts. I pretty much have every material more than enough to make weapons and armor. I don't think I'll have to hunt this monster or grind it. Anymore after I've done all the waves. Don't need any of that. Gonna keep these because I'm gonna probably upgrade the armors now that I've plenty more than enough. Didn't really want to. Just wanted to see how damaging they were without upgrading the armors. Over 1300 from count items. Anyway, this has been the favourite Arpuna hunting the Lagombi with the Felioska Gun Lance. See you next time, and good hunting.